there are no boundaries in space. In this vast universe, our closest relatives are the objects within the solar system. We share the same origin and the same destiny. Our solar system was formed about four and a half billion years ago from a huge gas cloud. Ironically, it could have been the deadly force of a thermonuclear blast from an exploding star in the vicinity that triggered our creation. The devastating force of the blast may have disturbed the precarious equilibrium of the original gas cloud, causing some of the matter to collapse inwards towards the centre, creating a new star, our Sun, and a minute percentage of the collapsing matter became the multifaceted assembly of planets that we have around us today. We are, in other words, just the leftovers of our Sun's birth. The planets were born in the rotating disk of dust and gas left behind as our mother's star was formed. The rocky planets formed in the inner solar system, while the enigmatic gas giants were formed farther out. And then, when a fierce wind of smashed atoms began to blow from the sun, or perhaps from hot nearby stars or a nearby supernova, only sizable planets could maintain their gaseous surroundings, and the last wisps of the tenuous cloud between the planets was whipped away. So in our solar system's zoo of celestial bodies, there are rocky worlds. And giant, gaseous planets. Even now, there's no exact estimate of the amount of matter, or even the number of planets that exist in the solar system. Since Pluto's discovery in the 1930s and its satellite Charon's in the 1970s, astronomers have been trying to figure out if there's anything else out there beyond the ninth planet. In 2003, Hubble spotted something moving fast enough across the background of faraway stars to be an object within the solar system. Estimates show that it could be about the size of a planet, and it's been named Sedna, after an Inuit goddess. Sedna may be 1,500 kilometers in diameter. That's about three quarters the size of Pluto, but so far away that it appears just as a small cluster of pixels, even to Hubble. Nevertheless, it's the largest object discovered in the solar system since Pluto. The Sun is about 15 billion kilometers from Sedna, 100 times further than Earth's distance from the Sun and barely gives out as much light and heat as the full moon. So Sedna is engulfed in an eternal bleak winter. Sedna is not the only mysterious object out there. Debris from the formation of the planets is still floating everywhere in the form of asteroids and comets of various shapes and sizes. Sometimes their orbits can lead them on catastrophic courses. The Hubble Space Telescope witnessed the final journey of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9. It was torn into numerous pieces by Jupiter's gravitational pull when it passed the massive planet in the summer of 1992. Two years later, these fragments returned and drove straight into the heart of Jupiter's atmosphere. Hubble followed the comet fragments on their last journey and delivered stunning high-resolution images of the impact scars. Our Earth could easily fit into any of these black bruises.
Space probes with sophisticated instruments are frequently sent to the planets of our solar system. They provide close-up investigations of these distant places. Hubble too provides its own unique service by opening a window on our solar system that is never closed. We've gained unprecedented views of storms on other planets, their changing seasons. and unprecedented views of other atmospheric events, such as aurorae, known on Earth as the Northern and Southern Lights. Even though the solar system clearly has many more surprises in store for us, Hubble has also turned its eye out towards other stars looking for planetary systems. Astronomers are beginning their search for life elsewhere in the universe. To start with, they are concentrating on finding Earth-like planets. In 2001, Hubble made the first direct detection of the atmosphere of an extrasolar planet and partially determined its composition. Measuring the chemical makeup of extrasolar planetary atmospheres will one day allow us to search for the markers of life beyond Earth. All living things breathe, and this changes the composition of the atmosphere in readily detectable ways. Astronomers believe there are many planetary systems similar to ours, orbiting other stars throughout the galaxy. The birth, life, death and rebirth of stars continues in an unending cycle, in which stars born of gas and dust will shine for millions or billions of years, die and return as gas and dust to form new stars. The byproducts of this continual process include planets and the chemical elements that make life possible. So throughout the entire vastness of space, the eternal ebb and flow of life continues. 